All right, y'all. This is my triple upload. I'm still sitting here, man. No life, and as I told you guys before, please let me know um, what other videos y'all want to see. Please comment below. I would really, really appreciate it because I am definitely going to need help with this journey. I, I'm, I know I'm going to run out of ideas, and I'm definitely going to need your help. So please comment below what videos y'all want to see so I can get right on it. Don't think this is going to end the regular vlogs. Of course, it's not. We're going to get right back into it, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. But Kelly uploaded a video, as you can see on the screen. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Why was I searching that? What's going on? But, yeah, uh, Kelly uploaded a video. Um, called the reason why it's over between us, DDG and Kelly. Uh, I just posted my little apology thing. I didn't know she posted this. So I'm just going to watch her react to it, see if she got to say. Hopefully it ain't bad, you feel me? Because, you know, I, I'm not really trying to, you know what I'm saying? I thought we was over this, but I guess I'm going to I don't know. I was just like, how are you going to make a video for somebody that you literally, ooh, I just burped, literally just met. What's popping? What's good? Then she, so she obviously talking about Selena, you know. I like your yeah, edges, by the way, Kelly. Your eyebrows are looking bomb. And I bet your burps smell like flowers. What it is? Oh, what's up? That's probably the weakest I've ever done it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm still sick. I don't know what's wrong with me. I might have to go to the doctors or something because... Yeah. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video. So before you guys, you know, go in the comments and start trying to hit thumbs down on this video and all of that um i just want to first say ooh, that's in my eye. um i just want to first say that this video is not a click baited video this video is not to get people to watch it this mm -hmm. is not fake drama um mm -hmm. this is not something for views you know what i'm saying like um I get views anyways. Oh, okay. It's my job. Um, this is literally a video for me to make because um, I feel like if I've opened the doors to allow you to enter a certain part of my life and yeah. I've allowed you to get a gist of a problem in my life or something like that, mm -hmm. then, you know, I feel like, like, I feel like you guys deserve to hear me speak about the problem. All right, so let's just get into what I'm about to talk about in this video today. Okay. So um, basically, as you guys know, um, me and Daryl, Pontiac made EDG. That's me. Um, we've made videos together, yeah. made skits and stuff together yeah. um, on YouTube, on Instagram. Yeah. Today's video, I'm basically here to give you the spill on just everything and i feel like people tend to think that just because you see like things that you see in vlogs and things that you see on live stream or stuff like that mm -hmm. like you guys think that you know the situation or nope, you they know don't. like they don't me. and it's like even though i make videos and give you a portion of my life yeah there's still like 99 percent of my life that you don't know about there's mm -hmm. characteristics 1%. that i have that i things that i do whether i'm wrong or right there's things that happen and kelly eyeshadow is looking bomb right now am i right goes on with myself that you guys don't know about yesterday um i was just chilling i'm actually currently in san diego and i'm just away mm. from la and everything and i'm just chilling with my family somebody sent me a video titled um it's titled ddg and kelly sweet really not friends ah. a lot of people were sending me the video and telling me to watch it and to talk to daryl yep. and to whatever whatever i watched the video the video's true um me and daryl currently we are not friends anymore unfortunately and i'm gonna get into my perspective as to why but like behind the vlogs and behind all of that mm -hmm. is like a real friendship yep. and like a real relationship not like boyfriend girlfriend but you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's real friendships real feelings real relationships besides just some youtube stuff I, I would say we are not friends anymore because of my decision um it was basically my decision to not 
you know, talk to Daryl anymore, um, to distance myself from yeah. the group. I haven't talked to Daryl since VidCon. I actually was the only like creator out of our little group to leave early one of his videos i had expressed that um i didn't want to be in his vlogs anymore there's problems going on on the internet you know all of this clickbait stuff and it just i feel like i was just having a really bad image yep. and i feel like my name was never cleared um about certain situations so that's all i was just like i just don't want to be in your stuff anymore like we made a video talking about the situation and in the video i don't know if you guys seen it but in the video where we you know he approached me at vidcon and we were talking about our situations we didn't get to talk about like personal situations the issue was taken care of like we were cool like we were friends whatever whatever but the real deep down heart filling issues weren't taken care of so basically um just to give you guys kind of a background information on me and daryl if you did not know mm -hmm. so you know we would film videos together we would do things together um hang out we literally live in the same vicinity so we hung out like all the time um and me and him you know we ended up actually liking each other but me and him both discussed that we didn't want to be in a relationship and that it just I don't know it just wasn't right timing I mean he just got out of a relationship with you know his ex and then gonna work um everything was kind of happening too fast like I feel like I liked way too quickly and it was just at a point where we just it was so quick that like we didn't really know how to handle it it was just kind of awkward because it's like I like you you like me but we want to be single we don't want to yeah do none of this so like a lot of what do we do? I mean, <laughs> I don't want to get too personal. And so this is when the real problem arise yep. or arose. Um, so for me, and I, I mean, I would talk to him, but I would not talk to him as much as I used to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I did that. Why? I basically did that because I felt like, why should I um, put... I mean, we're friends, but yeah. I don't want to put too much effort in. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to hang out. And I mean, I want to hang out with you, but I don't want to do too much. And for me at the time, I just felt like for the sake of my heart, for my heart to not be broken and just for the sake of my feelings. First of all, DDG don't break hearts. He fix them. I just thought that it would be best that I just kind of distance myself and you know I would talk to everybody else like normal but that's because I didn't have feelings for them like that so I mean I'm just treating them like re regular homies but me and Daryl's relationship was dip it was different because me and him both could tell you right now that it was not just on some homie stuff we can be homies but I believe we could be homies but just it's just kind of hard to be a homie like dap it up homie when we know is not, not homie stuff something that i can't admit that i should have brought to his attention and talked to him about but sometimes you know that's that's something that i need to work on too is expressing myself to people um before letting things get out of hand yeah so that was kind of our relationship it was you know a thing we were very close like from a girl's perspective if you like a guy and like you guys kind of have something going on mm -hmm. and the guy that you like goes and does certain things it's going to affect you like right it's it just is this is how girls are girls can't help but to get jealous and i just thought like oh if i did this myself it's fine you don't have to deal with my emotions because at the end of the day daryl's single i'm single I'm doing what I want to do. I never wanted him to feel bad for anything that he decides to do with his life or with girls or whatever. I don't want him to feel bad because he's not obligated to be with me. So, um, 
to be honest you know that was that fast forwarding fast forwarding with the whole vidcon thing you guys know what happened after vidcon when i came back here you know i didn't speak to daryl or anything like that i didn't speak to anybody you know i was just chilling i was having a regular ass regular ass day and yeah. everybody's tweeting me talking about did you see the video? Well, actually, some of my friends texted me, and then some people were tweeting me. They're like, did you see the video that Daryl posted? And I was like, what video? Basically, he made a, like, 15-minute long video for a girl that he literally just met. And mind you, I've known Daryl for a while now, and we've accumulated a strong relationship. It was basically just defending somebody for the same thing I wanted to be defended for. I don't need a video. I don't need an apology video. I don't need any type of video. Mm -hmm. But my thing was, if you don't make a video for anybody, um, if you don't make a video to defend somebody in that moment and in that scenario of drama and time, I felt like if you're going to do the video, it should have been for me. I'm not going to lie. I was mad. I don't know. I was just like, how are you going to make a video for somebody that you literally, oh, I just heard, literally just met. And I mean, I'm not going to trash her name, but not just funny. how are you going to make a video for her? <laughs> From my end, I thought that he was throwing shade. I mean, personally, I don't know why he... I was not throwing shade, Kelly. Okay? Nobody was throwing shade. I was the reason why she was getting hate. We all know who we talking about. It was my fault. So that's why I made the video. He made the video. Um, we have, I like I said, I haven't talked to him. I don't know why he made that video. Um, just, you know, you guys gotta put yourself in my shoes. Just imagine how I would feel just seeing the video and just a 15 minute long dedicated video to this Right after that. Ah, oh, why are you day. being mean? No, we supposed to be friend B. Um, just you know, you guys gotta put. You no. A fifteen-minute-long dedicated video to this. Ah. After that video was released. Come on, man. No. The next day, um, he called me, and I didn't pick up the phone. And he texted me and he said, call me. And then he no, texted me again and he said, you don't f with me. You don't f with me no more. Huh? With a question mark. And I left him on red. Ouch. And I left him on red because I just was not in the mood to talk. I honestly did not feel. Fun fact. Kelly does not have her read recipients on. So she left me undelivered like talking i just don't know what we talking about like that's just how i felt so i was just like i just don't want to talk right now and that he unfollowed me on literally everything and all right look this is me okay i'm a little petty when it comes to stuff like this you know what i'm saying if somebody don't rock with me you know what i'm saying i unfollow them because i don't want to see what they doing no more you got the sushi the grilled chicken I ain't getting you involved in nothing, nigga. I'm just doing the reactive and shit. You straight, nigga. Pootie don't want no beef, man. Pootie just be chilling. Ah! <laughs> Bro, you, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just saying you want no beef, nigga. Bro, <laughs> I've been, since last night, I spent, since 1 a.m. this morning, I spent 100 bucks. Really? Yeah. Nigga, I'll pay you back. No, man. nigga. I'll slap you on the goofy out if you say that shit again. All right. Damn, you got me some, some mashed potatoes too, nigga. Stuck, if you see a hole in it, it's because I stuck my dick right inside the middle of it. All right, bet. I mean, it tastes better. That was too gay. Nah, that wasn't gay enough, my nigga. All right. That was that. And that's the last that I heard from him was when he sent me a text message saying, do you, you don't fuck me on. So, I mean, um, yeah, we like unfollowed each other on everything. And then recently. Fun fact. I unfollowed you on Instagram and Twitter. Still had your number, and I still had your Snapchat. He, like, a day or two ago, he actually followed me back. I followed him back. Um, I still have not spoken to him. Personally, right now, 
uh, we're not friends anymore. Oh. I don't mind squashing it and being friends. Uh, I'm just kind of on my chill shit right now. I'm not saying that we'll never be friends again. We'll probably be buddy buddy in the next couple of days. Um, I'm not in LA to talk to him. If you know, I do talk to him. I don't want it to be over the phone or any of that. I definitely want to see him face to face. I've learned a lot from this situation and um, even from outsiders looking in, I hope that you guys are learning. Other than that, you know, Daryl's gonna do Daryl. Kelly's gonna do Kelly. Um, shit happens, you know what I'm saying? Shit happens. I don't hate Daryl. Um, I don't hate anybody. It's just right now, I'm on my own shit. As of now, that is my side of the story. Um, let me know what y'all think. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mean to be so simpy and sensitive and all that, but I can't help it. That's just me. That's how I am. Things affect me. Shit happens. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye. What more can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pay their way. Uh, Kelly, if you're watching this, you gotta start putting in screens instead of the screenshot so they can click on it. That's just, I mean, that wasn't appropriate for the situation. But let me basically do like a recap, you know what I'm saying? A kind of response, you feel me? Uh, I, I think everything that Kelly said was correct. You know, everything that she said was correct. Um, I understand why she'd be mad about the situation. But y'all know why I made the video, man. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make peace. I don't like anybody getting bullied. You know what I'm saying? If anyone noticed, you know what I'm saying? You know, Selena was getting bullied. And it was par partially, well, mostly because of me and McQueen. So it's just like, I just feel like I needed to stand up for her. And uh, I was eventually going to make a video about Kelly too. But I guess it took too long. McQueen beat me to the punch and it made me look bad. You feel me? So... That's really what happened. But uh, in the video, Kelly said that we're going to be friends. So we're going to see. Um, maybe I'll give her a call. But of course, I'm triple uploading. If you want me to call Kelly and, and try to talk to her on camera, uh, let me know in the comments below and get this video to 20,000 likes ASAP if you want me to call Kelly. Uh, it seemed like she really not that mad. You feel me? Honestly. The way it looked from the video, it looked like she over the situation just like I am. But she just had to make a video about it. So I will give Kelly a call if that's what you guys would like to see. Because I know a lot of you are like DDG an asshole, you know. And a lot of y'all is like mad at me right now. And honestly, as you can see from my energy from this video, I'm chilling, you feel me? I'm having a good old time. I'm about to eat me a nice little grilled chicken sandwich and I'm about to sit back and relax. But uh, I will give Kelly a call. And Kelly, if you're watching this, uh, I want to be friends again. Um, obviously, you know, a relationship is not what is what is in order right now. Um, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? And you chilling too, you know what I'm saying? So you got the 7.6 million views, you know what I'm saying? 101 in an hour. We don't need to be uh, missing uploads because we arguing, you feel me? Um, and honestly, I just don't want a relationship right now because I know what comes with it. And that's not what I want. But uh, other than that, man, yeah, I really I really like this video. I was expecting it to be something like, you know what I'm saying, forget that nigga type shit, you feel me? But it was really on some chill, cool shit, you know what I'm saying? And I really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave it at that. I'm going to give Kelly a call, see shit like this. This is a, uh, y'all can't even see it, but, you know, people posting live. I'm not even going to talk about that, but yeah, I really, 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 really like this video. Um, go watch it. Go subscribe to Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Road to 2 million, man. That's that's nice. I really enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, a lot. So, thanks for watching this reaction. Kelly, if you're watching this, I might be giving you a call in a minute. Cause I didn't vlog today. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm giving. I'm gonna give you a call. Um, we can talk about it. But if you guys want me to record it, let's get this video to twenty thousand. Probably not gonna call it to tomorrow. But uh, the night is still young. It's nine seventeen. Um, 
And I might throw a party at my house tonight because I'm moving out. Not even a party, just a little kickback, chill type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, might invite some people over type of shit. You feel me? But other than that, um, I will see you soon, Kelly. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.